Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to visiting lecturer today. For everyone to those who have entered the room, we are about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Honorable Dr. Hairun Nisa Khairuddin as a Research Fellow Center of Excellence for Social yeah. Education. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to visiting lecturer today and sustainability from University Malaysia Berlis and a very warm welcome to all participants and students from Stekong University. Is it indeed a pleasure to have all of you on this memorable occasion today and I would like to thank Scott for getting us here in a visiting lecture program regarding organizational behavior, re-engineering leadership going beyond for organizational transformation. Before we begin, please allow me to read our agenda this afternoon. First, there will be the start a class presentation by Dr. Hairun Nisa. And finally, there will be a question and answer session after the presentation and continue with the brief photo session at the end. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we will start this event today delivered by Dr. Hairun Nisa. The time is yours. Thank you. will be a question and answer session after the presentation and continue with the brief photo session at the end. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we will start this event today delivered by Dr. Hairun Nisa. The time is yours. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Novita. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. will be a question and answer session after the presentation and continue with the brief photo session at the end. Okay, now you can see the sound. 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 Thank you very much, Ms. Novita. Good morning, Doctor. We can hear clearly your voice. Sorry, because I hear the voice. From here, so can you stop it so that I can start? Stop what, partner? Uh, because I hear voice from uh, here. Good morning, doctor. We yes. cannot from me. Your voice. You can hear my voice clearly, but I can hear you. But the sound is repeating the same thing. So, I also hear repeating also in here. I think it's from your sense. Mm -hmm. Dr. Parker? Uh, I think one. Uh, yes. Good morning, Dr. Yes. Not from me. Mm -hmm. uh, and also not from me, I think. Yes. I can hear my voice, but I can hear you. But the sound is repeating the same thing. I so, also hear repeating also in here. I think it's from your sense. Mm -hmm. Dr. Parker? Uh, okay, testing. Testing, can you hear? Okay, let me uh, leave the session and I will join once again. Is it okay? Okay, Miss. Ya, yeah, mohon ditunggu untuk para partisipan. Untuk narasumbernya lagi try join again, mungkin ada sedikit technical issue, jadi mohon ditunggu. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum, Tasty. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, sorry for the technical problems. Okay, uh, so now you can clear. You can hear me clearly. Yes, very clearly. Okay, alright. Alhamdulillah. So shall we start again, or uh, I can just proceed? Uh, start from your side. Okay, I can just proceed. 
Okay, all right. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Novita. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, Miss. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day, everyone. Okay, I'm Dr. Hairun Nisa. You can call me Dr. Nisa. And today I will be sharing on this topic, okay, on rethinking leadership. Okay, first of all, I would like uh, to, to, to inform a little bit that I made some amendment on my topic, okay. Last time I give to the organizer uh, re-engineering, okay, re-engineering leadership, okay. But then later, uh, I think that, okay, it is it is better to, 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 to use the word rethink, okay, uh, because to me, it is uh, let let we think together, rethink together before we doing something. Okay, if we if I just want to proceed on re-engineering leadership, it's just another topic. Okay, but let's we rethink first. Then later, maybe if we have some more lecture next time, okay, we can re-engineering leadership. Okay, so for today's topic, uh, I will be sharing on rethinking leadership going beyond for organizational transformation okay so i use the word transformation okay uh last time i i, I use uh I, I i like to use the word excellent okay but uh i also discovered that yes we are striving toward excellence but we have to do something so we have to transform okay transform for the betterment okay what does it mean by transformation okay with the word trans Trans across form and form means, means we want to change. Okay, change for what? Change for the betterment, change for the betterment to the society and also to the nation. Okay, so that's about uh, the topic that I'm going to share uh, today. All right. Okay, so this uh, is my outline of my presentation today, what I'm going to deliver today. Okay, I will start with a little bit about myself. Okay, um, about my background. Okay, who knows from this platform, maybe we can uh, start uh, knowing each other. Okay, and maybe this platform, we can build more collaboration. Um, and also, you can know more about myself. Okay, and then uh, I will start start sharing uh, a little bit on my based on my knowledge and yeah, based on my experience okay about leadership the concept that we are going to to discuss today yeah the definition of the definition of leadership and then i also will be sharing on leadership theories okay there are many theories on leadership okay that uh, uh from the theories what are the lesson lesson that we can learn okay and not don't uh, stop until that okay if you understand the theories how we can use the theories and how we can um de develop ourselves yeah uh, develop ourselves because we are yeah we are leaders we are kali so we have to prepare ourselves uh, to, to develop ourselves leadership Okay, now let's start. Okay, so this is a little bit about myself. I'm Dr. Hairunisa Herudin. You can call me Dr. Nisa. Okay, if you want to call me just Nisa also, okay. Yeah, I'm a senior lecturer from Faculty of Business and Communication since 2019 in University of Malaysia, Berlin. Okay, uh, I graduated with PhD uh, in human resource development. Okay, that's my field. Uh, and also my bachelor degree in human resource development from University Putra, Malaysia. Okay, you see Putra, Malaysia is one of the research universities in Malaysia. Uh, in terms of academic honor, Alhamdulillah, uh, in my bachelor degree, or in Indonesia, you you all maybe say uh, you you all call as S one right? Okay, for bachelor degree, for bachelor degree, I managed to get a uh, professor's gold medal award okay, due to my uh, academic achievement and uh, all the uh, award listed here. Okay, and then these are my uh, some of the courses. Yeah, I teach in University of Malaysia Perlis. Uh, all this one, uh, all all these courses. And these are my research interests. Okay, if you look at my research interests, who knows in this 
uh, uh, any one of you who interested to to further your study or to do research or to if you want to make collaboration with us in Malaysia, okay, I I would like to welcome you, okay, welcome, uh, to to explore, okay, let's explore, let's do research together related to this this uh my research in today, yeah, you know, potential development, uh, organizational behavior for sure, like to this topic, organizational behavior, uh, leadership development and organizational psychology. Okay, so to this uh, session, I hope that um, with, with, we have uh, um, more or less two hours, yeah, um, two hours. So to share, I hope I can share knowledge and experience um, with you to, to strengthen abilities, yeah, in applying concept, theories, and principle of leadership. Okay, and I'm still learning. Okay, we share. Uh, in my session, you are also free to give your opinion or to ask any question. Uh, in my session, hopefully, uh, I can share all this in the most effective ways. Okay, so stay tuned until uh, the end. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at this one. Okay, let's warm up. Let's read this uh statement. Okay, perhaps. The most promising trend in our thinking about the leadership is the growing conviction that the purposes of the group are best served when the leader helps followers develop their own initiative, strengthens them in the use of their own judgment, enables them to grow and to become better contributors. This by John W. Gartman. Okay, everyone, I, I know that uh, we have students in Zoom, right? Okay, let's warm up. Okay, from this statement, what are the keywords that you can extract about the roles uh, of a leader? Okay, you can respond through the chat box in, in Zoom. Can you? So, so that, uh, how to see us? Yes. Let me okay. Uh, from this statement, I want you to extract what are the keywords, okay, or roles of a leader. Okay, you can respond to the chat box in Zoom. Okay. Yeah, if you have all the questions, you can raise your hand too, or you can write keyword roles, roles, uh, roles of a leader. Okay, based on this statement. Okay, let me share once again. Okay, this one. Can you see my slide? Okay, I'm sharing my screen, but not in um presentation mode. Okay. You can respond through the chat box. Okay. So what are the roles? Uh, based on this statement by John Gardner, I want to know your understanding of you. What are the roles as a leader? Yes. You can also, if you want to, if, if you don't want to, uh, to put in chat box, you can, uh, turn off, uh, turn, turn on your mic and say it, uh, to all. Okay. Problem solver. Very good. Okay. Uh, so as a leader, uh, also problem solver. Okay. What else? Anything else you, you can extract from this statement? The roles of a leader. Okay. Good communication. Communicator. Okay. So role communicator. Okay. Good try. Kayla. Okay. So thank you for your response. Let me uh yes. Uh I open this as a slideshow. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so when we look at the statement, yeah, when we look at the statement, oh, let me actually I'm adjusting my my view here. Okay, 
So if you look at the statement here, okay, leader as um as um as a someone who help yeah who help who help follower okay and they also develop so develop they also have the responsibility to have the responsibility to bring about changes okay changes in terms of what okay when we talk about changes we want to bring okay as a leader we want to bring changes in terms of k s and a Okay, in terms of knowledge, S stands for skills, and A stands for attitudes. Okay, that's the role of a leader. Okay, so if we can extract from this statement by John W. Gardner, yeah, so these are the things that we want to bring changes. Okay, now let's look at on the definition of leadership. Okay, once we understand the roles, okay, but we have also so, uh, because this topic are really thinking, okay, uh, really thinking on leadership. So we, 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 why not we start with uh, understanding the definition, okay? And I am going to share um, famously quoted definition of leadership, okay? So I start with this one. Anyone knows this scholar? Or uh, you are not familiar? Okay, I just uh, share the, the name. Okay, this is not house. Okay, one of the scholars in leadership. Okay, not house. Uh, he is uh, because if you like, okay, if I'm not mistaken, he is professor emeritus at Western Michigan University. Okay, Western Michigan University, and he mentioned that okay, leadership. Is a process whereby an individual influences a group or individuals uh, to achieve a common goal. Okay, this definition to get that process is about process. Yeah. Uh, we also have definition by this scholar. Okay, maybe any one of you familiar with this case. Okay, this is Gardner. Okay, Gardner defined leadership as uh, define leader. Okay, leader. Uh, a leader is a person who, by word and or personal example, mark lead influence the behaviors, their thoughts, and or feelings of a significant number of their fellow human beings. Okay, this definition by Gardner. Okay, next, I, uh, I bring to you, okay, this, uh, this, um, Famous, yeah, famous scholar, okay, Draco, or we, we, we also known as Peter Draco, okay, uh, modern management thinker. Uh, so when we talk about, uh, when we say Draco, I'm sure that uh, most of the uh, students or uh, anyone uh, involved in management, we are familiar with the name, yeah, Peter Draco. So Peter Draco, Define leadership as the only definition of a leader uh, is someone who has followers. Uh, simple, very simple. So look at this definition. Uh, I could say that there's no such thing of a leader if there is no follower. Uh, so uh, uh, Peter Drucker yeah, uh, was uh, an Austrian American educator. Uh, but he died in 2000, uh, 2005. Okay. One thing, one of the things that I like about uh, Peter Drucker, yeah, he also mentioned um, uh, about successful leader. Okay. Successful, he, he, he emphasized that successful leader should put people first. Um, people first and ethics. Yeah, rather than focusing on profits and rigid rules and work structures. So we should put people first, yeah, and ethics. Okay, and next we have this scholar, okay, Maxwell or John Maxwell, also famous scholar, right? So John Maxwell uh, defined leadership as leadership is influence, nothing more or less. So it's very simple. So this, uh, I, I bring to you definition of leadership, but uh, uh, famously quoted okay, by all these followers. Okay, look at the definitions. Yeah, 
you want to if you want to know more actually there are many definitions available in the literature okay but this famously quoted and from this definition what we can extract okay what are the keywords that we can extract okay to understand about the concept of leadership okay it involves leader with influence okay like um like uh, what uh, the, the authors or the scholars say, like Maxwell says, yeah, influence, leader involves influence. It also about responsibility. Yeah, it also about integrity. Okay, it also like uh, Peter Drucker mentioned. Okay, the only definition of leader is someone who has followers. So you can claim you as leader okay but we are we are leader we are actually a leader okay we we are leaders yeah uh and as a leader uh so we, we have we should have yeah, followers okay one of the aspect in leadership followers and also follower and leader they must be common goals okay they must be uh, shared goals okay what we are in at okay or what are the objectives let's say in uh, as a student if you example as a student if you have assignment yeah so you want to uh, to complete the assignment you may assign a leader okay and the group members as a follower okay so so the common goal here you want to complete the assignment okay uh, and the role as a leader to delegate tasks okay everybody should uh, play your roles okay, so that you can complete the assignment. Okay, so that's the common goal. Same goes in work setting. Okay, we have assignment or we have a uh, job need to be done, uh, need to be done on time, for example. Okay, so leader play very crucial roles. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, this is components of leadership. Okay, components of leadership. Uh, like like I have mentioned earlier, okay, leadership is about activity, yeah, it's a process, okay, activity or process, okay, so it's also group phenomenon, okay, leadership is a group phenomenon in which the capability to change others toward doing something for a certain purposes, okay, uh, so that's why the goal, the goal set by the leader okay uh, so for the certain purposes it's a process and when we talk about leadership like the definition mentioned yeah involve influence and how to influence others uh, that is another thing that we have to understand uh it's easy to say influence influence but how to influence others okay this may be through persuasion okay you have to persuade persuade others Okay, if you want uh, other people to do something for you, okay, you want to you want to uh, get things done through other, okay, maybe through persuasion or through exemplary behavior, okay, we we could say uh, we show from the example, okay, as a leader, um, we show from the example, okay, and as follower we learn from the example, okay. And in leadership is process which involve both these these actors, yeah, leaders, followers. Uh, so these these actors is play crucial roles. Okay, with the hope that uh, the outcomes of leadership process. Okay, we want to enhance group cohesion. Okay, uh, we want to make sure there is harmony in a group yeah uh, and also reinforcement or change of unique culture okay um, next uh, for achievement of group that's very crucial yeah and commitment of individual to such goals okay so means the hope of the leadership uh, outcome all right Okay, now let's look at on this um, theories of leadership. Okay, actually, 
uh, they are according to Kellerman. Kan nak uh, There are he he reviewed sixty six theories. Okay, and Mango uh, reviewed okay out of sixty six he reviewed twenty two theories. Okay, actually there are numbers of theories in leadership. Okay, but don't worry, I'm not going to present all the theories, but I just like, okay. Uh, famously quoted theories in leadership. Okay, let's uh, understand together, okay, the theory of leadership, okay. Uh, first, okay, uh, I would like to share here the first theory on the trait theory, which is the original, uh, the, the, I could say among the first, lah, among the first, Theory in leadership, trait theory, who are the scholars involved in this uh, theories like Stockville or Galton. Okay, what does this the, the theory mention? Okay, trait theory suggests that great leaders possess certain innate traits or characteristics that make them effective leaders. Okay, so in other words, if you understand trait theory, it's like uh, your innate, you are born with a tree. Okay, so here the key concept, what we can extract the key concept like intelligence, self confidence, or ab uh, ability to, to be sociable. Yeah, so this is your trait theory. Okay, next theory, uh, later come behavioral theory. Okay, so behavioral theory. Uh, some of the scholars in the laboratory, like Louis, Blake, Hersey, Blanchard, okay. And this theory focuses on behaviors of effective leaders and how they interact with their followers. Okay, focus like, like the name behavioral, yeah. So it focuses on behavior. Uh, and from this theory, uh, some of the key concepts, okay, there are Task oriented and people oriented behavior, yeah, autocratic, democratic, um, leadership styles. Okay, actually, there are other leadership styles, yeah, uh, democratic as a fan. So, all this related to this theory, behavioral theory. Okay. Next, we also have situational or contingency theory. Okay. This theory, uh, some of the scholars um, in this theory, okay, like Fiddler, Broom, Yeton, House, okay, Fiddler, like Pratt Fiddler, okay. Uh, and this theory is that the most effective leadership style depends on the situation. So, like the, 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 the name, not situation or competency. Contingency. So, like the name depends on the situation, and there is no one size fits all approach in uh, approach to leadership. Okay. So, for example, Fiddler, Fit, Fred Fiddler proposed leader member exchange theory. Okay. And then we also some of some of the concepts like task structure and position power. So this related to this theory. Okay. Next, we have transformational leadership. Okay, uh, these I could say uh, the 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 later the later theories uh, that come later, yeah, transformational theory, and some other scholars like Bass, Abulio, Burns. Okay, this theory seeks to inspire and motivate followers to achieve their full potential. Okay, like the word transformation. Okay, and the keyword inspire motivate. Okay, we could concept like visionary, inspirational, intellectual, stimulating. Okay, next we also have charismatic leadership. Okay, charismatic leadership. Uh, some of the scholars uh, we talk about charismatic leadership like Robert Merton. Okay, this, uh, this. The description uh, on charismatic leadership it relies on the charm and personality of the leader to inspire and motivate followers. Okay, looks like looks like looks almost similar. Yeah, when the theory comes, okay, even though we have uh, 
uh, yeah, we have um, theory that come early. Okay, next, there are theories developed later. Okay, not to say that we have to neglect the um, the old theories. No, okay, we have to let's let's look at all the theories. Okay, and what are the theories explained to this? Okay, so these. A theory that the charismatic leadership is about some of the two concepts are the visionary, self confident, inspiration. Okay, what else we have in team leadership? We have transactional leadership, okay, and the scholars like Weber, Burns, Bass, yeah, and these the exchange about transactional leadership is focusing on exchanging, okay, like the way. Transactional, transact, yeah, transactional. So it's about exchanging rewards for performance. Um, and some of the key concepts here, like contingent reward, lasers, laser fair leadership. Okay. What else we have? Okay. I think I only, uh, yeah, only six. I just highlight these six series. Okay. But actually, there are numbers of theories. Okay. Uh, Kellerman discovers 66, uh, but Mango, uh, this uh, Mango review 22 theories. Okay, I but really I just highlight these six theories. Okay. Each theory has its own unique perspective on leadership, highlighting different aspects of what makes a great leader. Yeah, leaders can employ different behaviors depending on situation. And also depending uh, on the need of your followers. Okay, among so many theories, what we can learn? Okay, what we can say about the theory? Lesson from the leadership theories. Too many theories. Do we need to develop new theories? I say that if, if, if you if you're interested to know more in leadership, maybe anyone of you uh, interested to do research in leadership. In fact, me myself uh, also in currently actively involved yeah, in, in the research about leadership. Yeah? So look at all the theories there. Yeah? Let's then learn okay, uh, based on mango yeah this is a quite interesting article okay very 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 good reading materials yeah by mango he mentioned that uh among all the 22 theories he reviewed yeah much repetition was discovered okay like we also review just now yeah sometimes charismatic transformational leadership so there is uh, like um, overlap sometimes, sometimes, yeah. So that's why the automation much repetition was discovered, okay. And then plenty of miniature subdivisions of leadership components, yeah. Uh, there are many, there are scholars who want to divide, who want to. Um, categorize leadership into several components. Some would like to categorize into a style, some would like to categorize into attributes. Yeah. If you want to talk about leadership, uh, there are so many things. We can talk about attributes, we can talk about process, we can talk about functions. So, so how we want to consolidate all this, all this so that uh, we are able to explain Clean, yeah, the concept to be able to understand the phenomenon of leadership. Next, Mingo also mentioned that in attempt to define one part of leadership, the total of the leadership, the total part is lost. And uh, this also uh, is, is, is very interesting finding. Okay, like we look at this, uh, this. Theory, all these theories, and not to say that if we discover something new, not to say that the old theory, the old theories uh, are wrong. Okay, not not necessary. Yeah. So it's like when we understand leadership, it's like uh, have you heard uh, a story, ancient Indian Indian story? Yeah, about 
uh, elephant and six blind men. Okay, let me share the, the story yeah, uh, about elephant and six blind uh, six blind men yeah, who had never been exposed with uh, who had never been exposed to an elephant. Okay, one day. I want to, to just for you to get the understanding. Eh? One day, each of the six men was guided to touch a specific part of the elephant. Okay, each of the six men touched a part different from his colleagues. Yeah, the first one held the trunk, the second one held the tusk, the third one held the ears of the elephant. Okay, the fourth one held the legs, and the fifth one held the belly area towards the back. And the sixth blind man, the sixth man, uh, held the tail. Okay, so what are the things that they discover? Okay, after all, the blind men uh, had touched their respective parts. They were taken aside and asked to define an elephant, okay? And the blind man who touched the trunk said, or the, the, uh, he touched and he said, an elephant is a snake. And then the blind man who touched the tusk said, an elephant is a spear. The blind man who touched the ear said, oh, an elephant is a pen, yeah? And the blind man who touched the leg said, an elephant is a pillar. The blind man who touched the belly said, an elephant is a wall. Yeah. And finally, the blind man who touched the tail said, an elephant is a rope. Okay. So when each blind man has stated his views, on what an elephant was, uh, an argument ensued among the blind men. Okay, each man insisting that his definition of elephant was right. Yeah. Um, and each uh, each of the blind men promoted one aspect of the elephant as the whole elephant. Okay, not that they are wrong. Okay. They just did not consider aspect, all aspect of the elephant, okay? Uh, and they did not have the full picture of what an elephant was. Just like have some information, okay, come back to leadership. I give you the analogy of the elephant, okay, about leadership. Just like um, we have information about leadership, but they are yet to interact, yeah, to interact with the totality of leadership. So there are scholars who mention about behaviors. There are scholars mention about process. Okay, but we have to and uh, uh, we have to look at from a bigger picture, yeah, so that we are not uh, only defined only one part of leadership. So this require uh, effort lah. This require effort for us to rethink. Rethink about leadership, okay, because the concept is close to us, okay, in our daily life, even in work, yeah. Um, uh, so, so because we, we want to understand the concept, we want to understand the phenomenon, we want to understand why leaders uh, behave uh, in such uh, in, in certain ways, yeah. So, so we understand, okay. Because well developed theories are used to solve problems in the real world, okay. So from this um lesson learned, yeah, about the leadership theory. So it's time for us to rethink, rethink, okay, and Mingo, this author, proposed this model, okay, ethical and effective leadership model or EEL. Okay. Uh, I look forward yeah, for this model because the author just proposed. Okay. Uh, so but uh, it's, it's like the author give us some hints or ideas for us to discover more okay, to rethink. So this is the process to rethink about leadership.
Okay, Mingo mentioned uh, if you want to understand leadership, okay, we have to consider also about the character, characteristics, people, practices, institutional practices. Okay, what are the differences between these and this? It's very interesting. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's good if you have time, uh, spend your time to read this article. Yeah, very thinking leadership that you, you may understand. Uh, how how to differentiate these two? Okay, and what are the attributes? What are the criteria under each? Uh, I could say each uh, each each variable here. Okay, and in the author also mentioned that in understanding leadership, yeah, we have to look at also the context in which, uh, the context that moderate the process. Yeah, uh, like what I did. Currently, yeah, what I'm doing currently uh, about leadership. Uh, I'm looking at engineering field, yeah, leadership specifically in engineering field. And it can be termed as engineering leadership. Okay, so uh, if we set a certain field, okay, we look at how the we could see the, the uniqueness of the phenomenon happen in that field. Okay. If you're interested to know more about leadership in education setting, so you have to consider the context of education, engineering to different fields. Okay. Uh, so the the practice of leadership uh, could be different, okay, or maybe there are uh, similar aspect, but there must be some uniqueness in each field. Okay, so this author leave us here yeah, with this model so that we can discover more. Yeah, and he also proposed a few hypotheses. Okay, so let's say anyone of you interested to do research on leadership. Okay, you may consider this this um, proposed model. Okay, now, uh, because it's not enough in this, if you just understand um, the definitions, yeah, the components, okay, I think uh, there, there is something that we have to look also, yeah. Many theories talk about styles, okay. Uh, many theories um, emphasize on how to say behavior and styles, okay. But one uh, another aspect that we should look uh, to, okay, is functions. Okay, this uh, by my mentor, yeah, Dr. Zahari Ismail. He uh, emphasized on five functions, okay, uh, means in that as a leader, yeah, number one, okay, the first function is group management, okay. Group management, manage, okay. Uh, if we talk about management, we have to remember, uh, come back to the principle of management, okay. What are, what, what, what is the meaning of management? What are the process involved in management, okay? It's about planning, leading, organizing, okay, uh, and controlling, okay. Like leading, some, some of the scholars uh, use the word like directing, okay. So, this um, function, yeah, or these roles should uh, be emphasized um, and should be initiated. Okay, initiated by by whom? By leader. Who are the leaders? Okay. Sometimes um, if we appoint a leader, so the leader is responsible. Okay, to to set. Okay, to manage. To initiate. To establish, yeah, to establish, uh, to improve the, the group uh, in terms of maybe in terms of first set the group structure. Okay, so leader responsible to initiate, initiate the process. Okay, but what if in certain work we don't appoint any leader? Okay, so if we don't have leader, so we are leader actually. Okay, we are leader, uh, we should. Take charge, yeah. be responsible to initiate. Ah, to initiate that. So that's why 
if you have a uh, assignment need to be done, if you have more than two people, okay, let's say three, so assign, assign a leader. If you have only two, two members in a group, so both should play a role, lah, okay, both are leaders, okay, but if you have more than two people in a group, so it's better you appoint a leader so that the leader can set, set. Uh, direction okay uh, so next on uh, the second function is setting direction setting direction of the group okay what are the mission okay what are the, the what is the vision what are the goals you know, objectives leader also play roles in setting the standards okay setting the expectation for the group okay so this very crucial. Otherwise, if the leader don't don't set all this one, yeah, it's like you are working in dark room. You have no direction. So how can you walk? Yeah. So that's why leader play a crucial role. So so appoint a leader, or if, if there is there is no leader, so we are leader. So lead, initiate initiate the process, set the vision. Okay. Uh, next or third functions is task management. Um, to me, and based on my experience, uh, this this very crucial task management. How do we delegate tasks, especially to the leaders? Lah? How the leaders uh, delegate tasks to each member? Okay. Um, it is, uh, to me, uh, the best way to delegate Task to, to, to members, okay. Leader should also know their members' potential, okay, their members' talent, okay, or their expertise in which area, okay. So if we put the right thing, okay, put right thing at the right place, yeah, same goes to the management, task management. If you assign a uh, task to the right person then you will you will feel the, the outcome and the success outcome okay because the leader able to identify the right person to do the job and the job hopefully can be uh, performed well by the members okay so that's that to me, this is very, very crucial, very crucial. How the leaders delegate tasks, okay? Not only assign based on, uh, you know, uh, the same person uh, get this, all the things to be done, okay? But we have to remember, every one of us has um, uniqueness. Every one of us has our own strengths, okay? So, uh, leader should help, uh, should help, yeah, to identify strengths, okay, and use members' strengths in, in achieving, uh, goals, yeah, in, 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 in making sure that everybody can work well, right? Okay, next, development of members, okay, not only assign tasks to people, but we have to remember, as a leader, we have to remember, um people need to be developed yeah every uh, uh, people sometimes they are motivated if we can develop our potential okay and how to develop our potential we have to discover discover our potential and uh let the members uh, discover their strength and polish the strength yeah so develop it's about employee development and also about the functions evaluation okay all every every task yeah so always have um uh, like a set or um evaluation in all aspects yeah evaluate not to say that we are always doing right thing all the time sometimes we just make mistake okay uh the Admit, admit that, okay, sometimes we make mistakes, so that's why. Uh, always evaluate, assess, you know, uh, do reflection. As a leader, um, if we uh, able to reflect, yeah, we're able to reflect, 
and do something. Okay, take action. Not only to reflect and stop there, okay, but take action, okay. And if there is need to, to reset the direction, then set the direction. If we have to uh, re rearrange the way we delegate tasks, then rearrange, okay. So not to say it's step, this is not step, yeah, but uh, it requires us to, to evaluate all aspects. How do we manage the group? Okay, how do we develop uh, members? Okay, so it involves all this. Yeah, all right. Next, uh, okay, why I say this? Okay, leadership is crucial because John Maxwell said everything rises and falls on leadership. So check, check. Uh, Check our surface, okay. Then we also can make some reflection, maybe on uh, about our leaders, okay. Uh, and we try to to help uh, to help as a follower. We also have our role to to rectify, to correct our leaders. If we don't let our leaders uh, continuously repeat the same mistake, okay. So. Um, we reflect and we help, we help leaders. And with the hope, uh, we also, okay, imagine if we become a leader in an organization, yeah, or leader to the country, uh, maybe any one of you uh, have a vision, okay. So we, we lead, even in family, yeah, we lead, even to ourselves, we lead ourselves. No. So we try to think, if we uh, be appointed to be a leader, what kind of leader that we want to be? Okay, have the questions um, like if we, uh, what are the things that we want people to talk about this? Yeah, uh, if, we, if we become leader, we want to lead with what are the things that we want people to remember? Yeah. Okay, um, because everything rises and falls on leadership, always remember that uh, leadership, good leadership, is start with, is start with this, okay? It start with ourselves, ourselves. So uh, that's why in rethinking on the leadership, okay? reflect ourselves okay and we have to know how to develop ourselves too. we are kali yeah. we are leaders like my mentor always mentioned there is no provision for us to quit as a kali ah or or in Malay tiada peruntukan untuk kita meletak jawatan sebagai khalifah. Okay, so we are khalif, we are leader. So how can we develop ourselves? Okay, so that's why there is a concept of self leadership. By understanding that um, self leadership, okay, it is it is part of self care. Yeah, self care. Um. And like Chris Lowney mentioned in his book, yeah, Harry Leadership, he mentioned if you want your team to perform heroically, yeah, hero, to be hero, be a hero yourself. You yourself, start with yourself. And you know, this is not as simple as the statement, yeah, because the toughest management challenge is always yourself this statement by bill high bell yeah so yeah I, I i totally agree the toughest management challenge is always yourself it's always our self so that's why um in in, in in most of the time we have to reflect okay reflect ourselves and learn learn how to develop self-leadership Okay, so these um 
few aspects yeah, in self-leadership. So it involved a great, uh, like like uh, John Un mentioned yeah, in, in his book, Dim Sum Leadership, okay, he mentioned that great leaders begin with self-awareness. Okay, but we, we have the awareness first. Okay, awareness. What, what is self-awareness? Okay, it's about the ability to acknowledge and understand of one's own value, okay? perspectives, strengths, weaknesses, leadership, leadership, and also emotional need. Okay, and this ability also about you aware about your values. Okay, how do you view? the world okay how what are the things that you um you count as important okay awareness of values okay like you myself to me time okay be on time is very crucial it's very important okay let's say i have meeting or class at 3 p.m for example i will come at least at least 10 to 15 minutes before the class, before the events. Yeah, because uh you know we have to respect others time too. So to me that's the values, yeah. Uh the values that I always uh so far, so far I try my best to be on time if I have appointment or events or meetings, yeah. So this example about awareness of values, yeah. Uh, and respect others, okay. So the values, okay, and then also we aware about our strengths, okay. How to identify, how to discover your strength, our strength, okay. Uh, based on my experience, I could say that uh, to, to, to those who are still students, yeah. If we are uh, at the, the university as a uh, training process your study in your bachelor degree or even maybe we have masters or PhD student here uh, study journey is the best training process for you to discover your strengths yeah i discover my strengths uh when i did my bachelor degree my master's and my phd and i know how to handle if i have to work in stress we have too many tasks to be need to be settled in short time, so I know how to handle based on my experience as a student. Uh, what are the things that uh, I, I, list, I list down? Okay, I list down um, all the crucial uh, things need to be done. Okay, and I discovered that um, my strength is if I can jot down, jot down all the things uh, I need to 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 uh to settle yeah so i it's like i able to release my stress half yeah if i can leave down okay uh then i see okay and i said i said which one is should be priority okay so from that i um i arrange i arrange my activities yeah um and that's also I uh, aware about emotions. Okay, sometimes we have the tendency to worry too much. It's like too many words. Okay, and we have we have the tendency to worry so much, but we do nothing. So, where is the awareness of emotion? So that's why first thing, as a leader, okay, we we aware and then it uh and then it move to staff management. Okay, it's not enough. If you just aware, okay, you know yourself, uh, but then what's the action? So this this where you should take action, yeah. Self management, okay. Self management is the ability to nurture and harness one's own passion, abilities, emotions, and leadership capacity in decision making. So whatever you want to do, take action. Okay, don't only let all the things in your mind. So take action. Okay, and this is also about how you manage your stress level. Okay, 
how do I manage my stress? Okay, it's, it's normal to have ups and downs. Yeah, and I also know when I'm in stress, I will uh, have uh, like a book or a paper. I will write everything on the paper. Okay, and actually, it is a uh, way for me to, to release uh, what I do. Okay, so that's, that's my style. That's my how how I, I um release my stress yeah or sometimes I also uh look at you know um go to like beach yeah uh we look at all the uh we look the creatures yeah the, we had alum in so that's how uh um some other ways lah I manage my stress okay Go so back to the 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 activities like I did I I wrote I write on a paper and then to me it's like uh I release on the paper okay uh so do not release your stress to others yeah so we have to find ways find ways to release your stress yeah and also self management about managing our talents okay how to discover your talents like I said your Strategy is the best to identify your talent. Uh, if you still in searching your talent, you do not know. Okay, try, try, experience new thing. Okay, uh, experiment, experiment yourself. Okay, um, who knows? Sometimes we don't know our talents until someone tell or inform us. Okay, um. If you don't know, if you don't discover your talents, maybe you should find mentor like me. I have mentors since I'm in bachelor degree. And uh he he knows a lot about myself. Okay, and I asked I asked him uh what are the uh what are my strengths, huh? My, what are my tal the talents that he discovered from me? Uh, so that's another way you can uh, identify your talents, your strength, your uniqueness. Okay, don't think that uh, we have nothing, but actually we, every one of us, we have our own uniqueness. Just we have to identify it and polish it, develop it. Okay, and self-management also about managing our motive, your intention in doing something. So, Take action. Here you take action. Okay, this is self management. Then we move to, we proceed to success leader. Okay, it begin with this one. Okay, move to self management and also then proceed to others' awareness. Okay, uh, it's not enough if we just understand ourselves. We also have to understand, we have to aware about others. Okay, this is where the system, uh, where, uh, how to say, care is all about. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, other awareness is about the ability to add knowledge and recognize the patient, gifting, strengths, weaknesses, potential, and needs of others. Okay, so in understanding other people, okay. In fact, to understand ourselves is hard, but we have, if we, if we want to be a successful leader, so we have to understand. We have to aware about others, yeah? So understand that sometimes, or there are times, people and leaders have mismatched expectation. okay? So in which this mismatched expectation may lead to uh, situation in harmonious situation. So, uh, we have to understand. Um, sometimes, yeah, uh, uh, expectation. Okay, uh, between leaders and followers or leaders and members. Okay, the leader mentioned you're supposed to do this way, and follower also mentioned the leader is supposed to do this way. Okay, it's like mismatch. So, how to reduce this mismatch? have to inform the expectation okay be clear with the with the expectation uh, 
communicate communicate the, uh, your expectation okay we have to also remember that sometimes people have hidden expectation okay like i said just now uh maybe there are members who mention you're supposed to do this way okay uh, so beware beware of, of, of hidden expectation and also sometimes people have unrealistic expectation uh, which is um not aligned to, to to the goals yeah so so be aware of this one okay if if the situation uh occurs or happens yeah so how uh as a leader okay we have to aware number one but next okay same like for ourselves we have also take action okay or we call as other management okay other management is the ability to grow and motivate other people okay, to develop their potential and to fulfill to fulfill the organization's objective okay so this is where we take action okay we focus on shared goal so that's why in management function we set one of the function we set the direction okay set the direction communicate communicate the direction communicate the expectation be clear about um rules for each member okay uh i think in in any any activities or assignment we have to make sure the structure of the group the rules for each member is clear that's the first thing yeah then everybody would strive strive together to uh, to work uh, to achieve the goal yeah emphasize our shared values yeah and realize that habits and lifestyles are harder to change harder to change we, we aware that but uh we have to strive lah. we have to work hard we have to put some effort put effort much effort you know some okay put effort to to bring everybody to the right path number one to bring everybody to yep we we want to transform people okay we want to um how to say uh we want to remove the bad habits yeah the bad lifestyle so we realize that we need to take action as a leader uh, we have to take action okay this leadership uh self-leadership okay it is not linear not to say you have to go to one by one then you are you arrive or you achieve at this stage okay it is not linear but it is an interactive effect yeah so it's also about how much do we know about ourselves how much do we know about the people around us how much do we know about uh, the people or the followers uh, that we lead yeah so this 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 is um crucial yeah to start leadership leadership concept or leadership practices it start with the self leadership then if we understand it we can uh hopefully hopefully we can practice it even in small setting even in family setting okay we play our role as a leader okay help the members okay help the followers okay if you if we uh the followers help the leaders to so both the complement roles yeah in transforming with betterment okay okay up to now is there any question or uh, i think i just proceed with uh this I think this is the last slide, okay? Uh, I would like to share with you all 
some wisdom words from my mentor, from my lead mentor, uh, Prof. Dr. Kazari Ismail. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this, this message, don't just focus the future. Design your future. Don't just follow the trend. You set the trend. Don't just cope with the environment. You create your desired environment. Okay? So with that, I think uh, uh, that's the last slide of my session. Okay, I pass back to the uh, organizer. Okay, okay, I want to stop sharing. Okay. Okay, thank you for the wonderful information, Miss. And for all participants, if you want to ask questions, you can raise your hand or you can read in the room chat. Okay, for first question, we have the question from Mr. Faiz. Why is the transformational leadership still very influential in the success of organization? What if we have leader who priorities? personal interest how do we overcome this in the world of work thank you okay may i get the question in the chat box yeah i will just a moment Yeah. Okay, so two questions, right? Okay, number one, does uh, one's leadership style affect the attitude and behavior of subordinate? Okay, this uh, I would like to answer it based on my observation and also based on a uh, past research here. In fact, in, 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 in past studies also uh, discover that yes, leadership style affect uh, subordinates or followers or members, members' behavior. Okay, let's say we are in an organization where uh, the leaders show uh, if, if the leader ever puts a good example, okay, we also subordinate will learn from the behavior, from learn from the uh, example okay so it affect it affect the way we react to to, to the leaders and uh, you know uh, we usually uh, if we are followers if we are members if we are subordinate subordinates uh, we will look at the leader okay how he or she uh play his or her role as a leader okay if if if, if the person able to play Good, uh, or uh, true exemplary behavior, yeah, the exemplary behavior. So, uh, subordinate, of course, will will respect, yeah, will respect and try their best to to perform well, yeah. So, uh, based on past research, yes, that it will affect, and also based on my observation. Based on my experience too, um, yeah. If I if I in in good leader, uh, I have a tendency to, you know, uh, of course, like if we say that if we become motiv more motivated because of it, we supposed to have the motivation. In fact, uh, not only rely the motivation based on others. Okay, the best thing is we have the motivation innate motivation. Why we do something because we want to do that. Okay, uh, but it will become more fun if we have good leaders, yeah, because good leader able to show good example, then subordinate, of course, will uh, follow, follow the good, the good behaviors, yeah. Okay, very good question, okay. And then how to apply leadership style in order to increase employee work 
productivity. Okay, how to apply? Um, if we look at all the uh, the theories or explanation or models uh, developed by past scholars, past researchers, yeah, uh, they highlighted different uh, styles, leadership styles. Okay, um, so these leadership styles, okay. Uh, it depends on our view, okay. Uh, I personally, um, I could say based on situation because there is no theory that fits to all situation, okay. There are situations that we have to play our role, uh, for example, as a leader, uh, maybe we have to be a very... Uh, you know, um, sometimes we have to be people oriented. Okay, if you want to to win people's heart, okay, so we have to be people oriented. So, but is is it good if we all the time we be people oriented? Ah, uh, that must be this assumption that it could be it could create a problem where maybe there are people who. You know, they know that you are uh, some someone who can uh, just easy <laughs> easy in, in many things, yeah. So maybe there are people who take for granted. So be aware of it, okay. If you want to um, use, let's say, task-oriented, okay, or to be autocratic, uh, to be autocratic. Uh, depends on situation, okay, and uh, one of the uh, attributes yeah, uh, as a leader to when when someone appoints as a leader, so we have to analyze the situation, okay, analyze the members in the organization, what kind of members, what kind of subordinates uh, we we um that we have to interact with okay and that's why the knowledge of ob the knowledge about personality is very important okay uh, not to blame people if you know they are witnesses okay but we use this knowledge yeah if we know uh, these people okay uh categorized as which personality, which type? So at least we play play role. But maybe have to uh play accordingly, accordingly based on the situation, based on the personality. Okay, so uh, there is no styles that fit all. Okay, depending on the situation, depending on the conditions. And how do we tolerate yeah, with the uh, personality involved in the organization? Okay, very good question. Okay, next question. Yes, we have here from East Java. Okay, Ustazah. Ustaz, uh, uh, I want to question. Uh, okay, the bagi say Ustazah. Okay. Do such uh, characteristics produce good leaders? Okay. Um, very good question. Yeah, characteristics. Uh, there are um, there are scholars who mention who outline uh characteristics like like mango. Uh, I I share to you the the um, uh, the title of the article. Yeah. Uh, she. Oh, uh, sorry, not he. She mango mango. She she outline um few characteristics few good characteristics uh, to be good leader okay uh, for example like to be good leader uh, they must have intelligence so if we want to talk about intelligence if you refer to Howard Gardner there are several types eight types of multiple intelligence so so leader depending on the situation what kind of intelligence that uh, the person uh, have to use yeah and then have self-confidence and be aware of integrity okay uh, we want to influence people okay we have to um we want to get trust from followers from from other people yeah so integrity is crucial okay and then um like i shared to you just now self-leadership is self-awareness okay these are the attributes 
that's crucial to a lead, to, to a leader okay um to be a good leader in fact not to say that i'm i'm, a good, I'm also in learning process i'm also in uh, discovering myself and i also in reflecting reflecting all the process all the events happen in my life yeah uh and we learn something from that uh, and to me if we continuously doing reflection yeah um that that's uh, the best um um one of the best process not one of the best process to to be a good leader okay if people trust us to be a leader, so we have to reflect, okay, what are the strengths, uh, what are our strengths, what are the strengths in us or, uh, yeah, the strength in us that make people uh, interested to us, yeah, but it's so. Um, to, to, to gain trust is hard, but to keep to keep the trust even harder. Okay, so uh, that's why reflection, always keep doing reflection. That's one of the uh, attributes here yeah, to be to be there. Okay, uh, one question again. Okay, is there any, is there any question? What is the form? Okay, what is uh, what efforts to change the family domination leadership system? Okay, that in Indonesia is commonly applied by political parties. I don't get the what actually you want to ask. Maybe you can explain. Uh, just a moment, I will read the question. Yep. This is what I think, what do you want me to ask? What do you expect from uh, from the questions that you can you explain to me? Because the last statement is like you mentioned domination leadership system that in Indonesia is commonly applied by political party leader. What do you mean by that? Can I get clarification please? Or otherwise uh effort to change uh, maybe you... maybe mean about do you know insider in the world of work in the Malaysia maybe have this? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. About uh, domination. Or insider. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay. Uh. So, so your question is? Just a moment. Maybe from student, can you explain the detail of the question? <laughs> Bagaimana upaya merubah sistem kepemimpinan? Bagaimana merubah? How to change? Bagaimana upaya merubah sistem kepemimpinan dominasi keluarga yang di Indonesia banyak diterapkan oleh pimpinan partai politik? Dominasi keluarga lebih ke orang dalam? Orang dalam maksudnya dominasi keluarga. What do you mean by family domination? I don't know in Malaysia have this or no, because in Indonesia maybe so, uh, someone need work maybe he can from the office can accept but, uh, orang dalam ah, uh. orang dalam like it's like cable is it? Yeah, maybe for easier accepting work. <laughs> Okay, uh, you, you, let's say I give you an example. Is it, just correct me if I'm wrong, yeah? yeah. Uh, it's like uh, you get help from someone uh, in organization for you to get job easily. Is it? Yeah, like, like this, like this. Okay, all right. So it, we call it as, um, yeah, it's cable, lah, cable. <laughs> okay, so to change this one, yeah. Um, is is very uh, uh this 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 um how to say yeah it it happens it happens okay um but to change it yeah always remember that if you have um make sure that you prepare yourself yeah 
with knowledge, skills, abilities, qualifications. Okay, always remember that if you express yourself with all these, um, you can get the job you, that you want. Uh, Easy. Always remember is this is about rezeki. Okay. Um not always to blame that you don't have table. Like right? so you don't you don't have uh, you don't know someone in the organization that you may feel difficult to, to join the organization. Okay, you have to 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 prove yourself. You have something that the organization need you because of your qualification, because of your ability. Okay, and in fact, I could say based on my experience, I apply for a job. I apply in to work in Unimap. Okay, before before I I work here. Okay, I I offered uh they offered me scholarship. Okay, scholarship to pursue my PhD, and I don't know anybody uh, in the organization. I just present what I what I have that time. Okay, and uh all the certificate I have. Okay, and I just express, present my, the things that I feel is something, um, something uh, uniqueness about me lah, uh, uniqueness about me. So, um, and yeah, it, it is, it, we strive. I, I, uh, we have to put more effort, strive, strive to, to get uh, the job that, we want okay uh and always believe it's about reality okay uh there are people who been selected okay because of the person in organization maybe their family or what okay but uh to what extent okay um that the person or uh, how credible the person can perform the job. Okay, that's another thing. So make sure that if you able to join any organization or you will be offered for a position, okay, you show it, you express, um, uh, you prove, you prove with your talent, you prove that the qualification you obtain here yeah, from the university, uh, is something that valuable with with the organization, okay? Um, so to change it, maybe we could have a policy, yeah, policy in the organization, uh, to make sure that um, there is no, um, how to say, there is no relationship, um, between the applicants and any, any. Anybody involved in selection process? Yeah, maybe yeah, that's one of the aspects. Okay, set the policies, set the procedures that uh, can restrict uh, from um, from selecting easily. Okay, we want if if to HR yeah to HR people we are responsible to select um to select applicants or candidate based on his or her qualification based on based on her uh, skills yeah and also based on abilities okay if hr fail to do that so we wait lah we wait how long the organization can uh stay yeah if if hr fail to hire good or right person okay that fit to a certain job we we wait until we wait the organization may not may not be able to stay longer yeah okay so uh hr should do something hr hr should take action yeah uh, for for these uh problems yeah very good question okay i hope it answered to your uh, question <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we don't have no more question again from the speaker. Yeah, I will go to, to the next session. For before we close this session, let us talk. Uh, let us take a picture together. For everyone, please open your camera. I will keep count of one, 
two, three. Okay, another one. One, two, three. Smile, thank you. Finally, we come to the end of the visiting lecture today. We would like to say thanks to Dr. Hairun Nisa Hairudin for their wonderful information. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. We hope this information will be beneficial for our audience. And I hope we can meet again at another event in the future with University Malaysia Perlis. Also, I would like to thank for all participants for attending this class and making this event more interesting. At least we hope to have more collaboration in the future. The visiting lecture for today and here. We hope to see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day for all participants and Dr. Hairunisa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to organizer for organizing this wonderful event. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bye-bye from Malaysia. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. All right, you're welcome. Do okay, you have ended the session in YouTube? Yeah. Okay, all right. So thank you so much yeah, for organizing this event. Uh, if, if I want to know, uh, this event is part of courses or what? Courses from Unimap. Uh, no, I mean it huh? is part of subject in university or just um uh just a free lecture to, to all the students uh free lecture oh free lecture uh, available, available to all to all it's it open to all students yeah all department ah i see very good effort uh yeah. you're a very good organizer since we have the session previously. So very good, very good. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to, to you and to all the teams yeah, for organizing this event. Okay. So if you want to come to Malaysia, you may contact us. You may contact me. Um anyone here want to further have uh, for the collaboration or research, you are welcome to contact. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Hayron, for the tour today. Okay, nice meeting you.